Okay. Welcome everyone to Cooking with Jolene Live, but I'm in my rumpus room and um, because we had some technical difficulties in the kitchen, um, but I see um, the chat room from far away and um, I wish I could see what you're typing there, but the best thing to do is either Twitter me on Jolene's trailer there or visit me on my Facebook page and post a comment there because it'll bing right there and I'll be able to uh, see the important comments. But I'll definitely be reading them uh, here uh, before the end too. Um, but I see everybody moving along. It's a different chat here. And if uh, people could just say if they could hear me, I can see it scroll from the afar here if it's working right. I'm always on a little bit of delay. I don't know why it does that. Yet. Um, but if someone could post on my Facebook page that if everything sounds okay, um, this is during the live thing, because this does get recorded. Um, so you'll be able to see that. Yet. Um, but I'm actually um, here inside the Trailer Park Rumpus Room, and I just got finished filming a new episode. It's been a while since I've been in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and I'm going to use my tablet here today to make sure that I can keep in touch with you all. Again, I'm Jolene's Trailer. You can find me there on Twitter, and you can Twitter me with that. And um, I'm getting the messages now. It says that I, I look and sound great. Well, thank you. I just slaved over the hot oven um, for a while, and I posted earlier um, about produce prices and how expensive that's gotten lately. Not only gas, but, um, I don't know, apples? So expensive. Maybe I, I, I know I should have went to another store uh, to get them. Sometimes those supermarket kados, or however you say it, um, they have it, um a little bit cheaper, um, but it was so expensive. No wonder people are fat because, you know, things are just so expensive now, and you can get, like, that, those noodles for, like, 28 cents, and that's like a dinner, and I, I know people eat those all the time, um, but this is kind of unusual what we're going to do today because I'm just lounging around here in the Trailer Park Rumpus Room, and... Um, this is something you're like, well, cooking, how are you going to cook on your, well, chair? And, um, uh, people ask me about my chair. I love my chair. And I actually dumpster dive for this and popped it in the back of my trunk and drove off with it. I think it's pretty in pink. I mean, it's very hard to find a pretty pink chair. Um, but this is my chair. You could be lounging on the couch and um, that could be your exercise um, with this recipe because it's really simple. And you need a um, canning jar or like a mason jar. And that's what we're using today. And just one that you haven't used before with the lid and the screw cap there um, is there. And oh, did I say we're making butter today? We are making butter right here in a jar. And, you know, I got asked earlier on my Facebook page, they're like, Jolene, does it cost less to make that? Well, I don't know. I, don't did, I didn't do the math, and it may be cheaper somehow. But this way you can make your own flavor butters. You can put seasoning in there and make cute little, little teeny things to put by people's plate with their own flavored butters. But... It's also fun, too, and it keeps the kids busy because it's going to take about 20 minutes uh, with they got. So, I need you to post on my Facebook page questions you want me to answer while we're making this butter today because once I start with this butter, we've got to um, keep going um, with they got. Um, but I've got the canning jar, and um, what we're going to do is actually take... Um, this is heavy whipping cream, and... You need a pint, which is two cups. So let's go ahead and pour two cups of the whipping cream right on in there. Just like that. And there we go. And now we're going to pour this into our mason jar. Just like that. 
And we're not going to pour all the way. There's just a little bit left in there, but that's okay. Now, I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt. Just like that. Pinch of salt right on in there. Some people like to add seasonings at this point, or you can add um, maybe a little bit of fresh fruit juice and berries, and you could get like a berry kind of butter that you could put on toast. Wouldn't that be great? Um, but now we're putting the, the actual lid on here. And um, those beepings you hear are people uh, message me on Twitter and Facebook, which you could be doing now, and saying hello. And also on Google Plus, I'm there too. I think it'll ring in on that. But we're going to tighten it really tight so it doesn't splatter all over the place. Um, but it takes about 20 minutes. So that's where I'm going to talk about what's going on in the trailer park. And that's where I'm going to be answering your questions. So we're going to start the timer. There we go. And it's really simple at this point. All you do is just start shaking it. And that's it. Wow. And probably in about 20 minutes, we're going to have butter. And I think I'm going to have to remove the ring. There we go. Um, but just keep shaking it. And this is great to give to the kids um, to do because it keeps them busy. But um, you just keep shaking the, the butter. And it takes forever. It really does. Because just go by the sticks is what I normally do. But this is fun to make uh, with a... Uh, so what we're going to do now is check in with Facebook and see what everybody's saying and see if everything's working okay. And let's see. Um, um, yes, this is quite the workout. Um, I don't really know. Um, it's like one of those fancy things you could buy on TV. Um, it's just really kind of, wow, it gives you the workout with that. Um, let's see. Still reading here. Um, everyone says that they can hear me perfectly there. That's good. Um, everyone says that it's coming through good, so that's good, um, with the video, because, you know, you might have to hit refresh, and it's a new chatting system, and it works on YouTube comments, and I can't wait to read your comments later, and, um, uh, let's see, someone's asking about the painting behind me of me, just a good friend made that for me, and, um, that's just a great painting that I have here in my rumpus room. I like paintings. I like art, too. There's a thing called Artomatic, which is coming up in Crystal City. And um, you may have you've seen my videos. I go and I interview the artists. And it's just a great experience with the artists there. And you get to see their artwork and all their pretty things hanging up on the wall. And my arms falling off. Um, let's see. Let's see another comment here. Um, oh, these people added me as a friend. Thank you. I talk about all sorts of things. I talk about my cooking show, what's going on in the trailer park, and, you know, just a little bit about everything. You know, most people put fluff about, you know, just their show, but I talk about anything. I really do, and um, it's, it's all family-friendly. You shouldn't be over there with potty mouth. I'm, I'm big about that on my pages. Don't do that, because lots of people watch my show and enjoy it, so don't be like that. Think of something elegant to say with that. Um, let's see. Some people want me to do reviews of food, and I do like a lot of food. Um, I, really, a lot of food. Um, I, I eat it all the time, and, um, you know, that is um, just one of those things that... I, I've been wanting to do taste, taste things. I love ethnic stores. They can have, I found these masala fav flavored potato chips the other day. And it's just, I don't know. That's just, wow. We don't have that kind of things all the time around here. Especially around the trailer park with that. Um, let's see. Um, next question is, um, let's see. Um, someone needs to let the dog out. Well, wait. This is 20 minutes um, with the... Yes. Um, well, let's see. What, how, how long has it been? Has it been 20... It's been four minutes. Um, oh, gosh. I don't know. This is something to get... Especially at a party, you could pass this around. 
And um, wow, I still hear it in there just a little bit. Um, it's changing its texture there. Um, wow. This is, maybe you could just buy the sticks, because this takes a long time with that. Um, let's see. Um, I've got one of those screens that turns off when you don't move in front of it, so I'm going to have to throw something over to it in a minute. Maybe the butter. I don't know with that. Um, lots of people, oh, someone's got pork chops in the oven tonight. Someone's making pork, and, um, that's great. And, um, let's see if we can get the monitor to come back on, just like that. Let's throw it. That, that, no, that didn't work. I didn't think it was a human. This, no, oh, well, it'll work. Um, so let's see. We've got, um, let's see, we have comments here. I'm asking if my arm is tired yet. Yes. And I'm I'm hoping that this butter is here soon because I'm gonna have some crackers. We've got 15 more minutes probably with this. Um, so this gets you the workout. I mean, you can make butter and get your workout with that. You know, I don't go to the gym. I mean, if they had a snack bar at the gym, I definitely go. Um, with that. Um, let's see. Um, we have another one. Let's see, someone's asking if it needs refrigeration afterwards. And yes, it does need refrigeration, but you can eat it right away. That is just something that you can eat right away on crackers, and it sure is good. Um, but keep shaking it. Don't stop. you got to keep going. Um, let's see, we have another message. Oh, somebody likes my teacup lamps. I'm really big into Pinterest these days. I've been pinning all sorts of things and I saw all these people making lamps. I have a lamp out of a shovel. How do they do that? I just don't understand. But I'm Jolene's trailer there on Pinterest and I've just been pinning everything. Poor cat has to watch because I'll pin him to a board. No, no really. I take his picture and put it up there. But Pinterest is fantastic. I, I love looking at all the recipes and following everybody, so you can add me there. Um, but they they made some cute teacup lamps there. I don't know. Someone gave me that as a gift. And I don't know if I had the time or the dishware to make that lamp um, with that. Um, oh, speaking of Pinterest, there's all sorts of repins with that. Um, let's see. Um... What am I going to put the butter on? I'm going to put the butter on crackers. Um, some of those pretzel type crackers. Um, I think that's going to be the best thing. Um, it's gone silent here a little bit now. But you still have to keep shaking it. Because it's going to turn into butter here in a minute um, with that. Um, let's see. We have another question here. Um, Brazilian fan. Well, hello there, Melissa. I'm so glad to hear from you, and you know one of my idols is Shusha from Brazil, and um, that's one of my idols. I did a video about that uh, a while ago, and um, that is just, you know, I, I just think she's colorful and talented, and um, I do want to get to Brazil. I was shared some of your, like, I don't know, drink mixes. I think someone tried that with me, and... It was like different flavors I'd never heard of. And one was like a sugar cane. And I don't know. But um, Brazil sounds such a great place. I'm going to go check that out sometime. Um, um, oh, people are asking if it, um, you could put it in a blender. Probably so. But then you couldn't keep yourself busy or get your workout with this. Um, you could probably get it like that. Now, at this point, it probably is, let's see, eight minutes, and it's at the probably whipped cream stage, and you got to keep shaking it to get it past that, and keep shaking it, and keeping it going. Wow, this takes forever, and this would definitely keep everybody busy, especially if someone was fidgety. You could give them some butter to make, especially with that, um... You got to make that. And I see 
comments on the channel. People are. I'll read those later and I'll respond to those. Um, probably in writing. Um, you can Twitter me, Jolene's Trailer, or uh, find me on Facebook. There's a post that. Um, let's see here. Um, someone loves the blanket behind me, and um, someone gave that to me. And um, speaking of crochet, um, Mikey at the Crochet Crowd. He's here on YouTube, and if you need to know how to crochet, he will tell you how. And just a great, great program. And he really does do a great... He he posts on Facebook all his things that he's doing, and it is just really great with what he does. And, um... Woo! Let's keep reading. Let's say... How, how do I like the weather, is someone asking. Um... Well, the weather is, it's cold to hot, and I was kind of sick last week. I had the allergies, and nose would not stop running. Couldn't catch it at all, and um, it's just one of those things that, um, I don't know. I, it's just going to make people sick, but I did go see the cherry blossoms um, down in D.C. Yes, I did. And, um, those are so pretty. I took pictures and put them on my Facebook page and Google page. And you can find them there. And I Twittered a few of those, too. So, go ahead and find those. But, really pretty. And they, they bloomed real pretty this year. Just really great. And, um, this is just a great year for flowers. But, you know, with the allergies, I don't know. Just really... Kind of crazy. Um, people are asking about some of my writing projects. I do have quite a lot of writing projects that I'm working on. No word on that yet, but I'll, I'll have word on that soon. Thank you for your interest. Um, people find my recipe sooner or later on my website, trailerparktestkitchen.com, and I put it up there, and people can print them off and look at them or forward them to their phone or whatever they want to do, and fix my recipes, and if you do send my, uh, actually make one of my recipes, go ahead and send me an email about it, so I know that, that you did it, and I'd like to know how it turned out with that, because I do test all my recipes, uh, with that. Um, people are saying that, um, Kat says that butter is better than, um, margarine. I guess it is. I don't know. You could probably Google that, uh, with that. Um, let's see, um, people are talking about their dinner, too. Um, some people have made a pulled pork ham shoulder. That's quite adventurous, especially on a Monday night. Wow. I, I think I nuked something tonight. I don't know about you. Um, someone's asking about fruit flies. I don't know where fruit flies come from, because I, I can't even afford the fresh fruit, and they just appear. They appear, and I don't know where they come from, and um, just kind of crazy. It's like, go away, I don't have any fruit um, with that. And let's see, still reading the comments here on my wall. Um, asking me if it melts. Um, yes, it does. Um, it does melt. Um, they want to put it on their lobsters, which those remind me of bugs. I don't know how anyone... I don't know. They're kind of crazy. Um, but whatever. Um, eat a bug if you want. Um, with that. Um, let's see. We have questions asking if it is butter. Um, I don't know yet. It probably is there. Just about, let's see, 13 minutes. Oh my gosh, it's almost done. Wow. Um, um, some people are asking what it is. It's butter. Um, it's actually two cups of heavy whipping cream, and we put it in a mason jar with the lid and the, the screw cap in it, and we just shake it, and we shake it until it's done, which is like 20 minutes, so keep shaking it, keep going, um, um, some people are suggesting that it, um, put it in the refrigerator, um, it does whip up faster if it's colder, um, but... Um, if you do leave the cream out a little bit more, it kind of makes the butter kind of that butter flavor. I don't know how to explain it like that, but it makes it a little bit more tart. 
I guess is what I, I said. Once it's a little bit more warmer when you're doing this, um, the, if it was colder, it would probably taste a little bit more different with that. Um, another post on my wall. Um, people are asking, why do you have to shake it for 20 minutes? Because it's not fun if you put it in a blender. You made this in a jar sitting on your couch. And getting a workout, too. I mean, I'm almost losing my voice here, too. Ooh, let's take a drink here. Woo! And this gives the kids something to do, or, like I said, somebody fidgety could do that. Um, let's see. Um, got lots of people. Um, what asked... Uh, somebody asked, um, what kind of color is on my wall? This is a kind of a video color, actually. It's it's really green. Um, it actually changes color in here. I don't know. It just suddenly did. You can watch my Wumpus Rooms, and I don't know. I get bored and um, have to change the colors. Um, someone says they're getting whiplash watching it. Um, don't watch it. Um, just pretend. That you're watching it. Um, let's see. Uh, more posts about dinner tonight. Everybody's eating tonight. Um, Harold said he likes my pictures of the cherry blossoms. You can find them all over, like I said earlier. Thank you so much. And um, let's see. Lots of people planting flowers um, with that yet. Really interesting um, with the spring coming up this this early time. Oh, 16 minutes here. Woo! Still going. And I still don't know. I wish I could see the chat from the room. Next time that'll happen. This was just getting back in the, the, the swing of things here. Um, still shaking it. Still shaking it, and I still have more messages here. What am I drinking in the, the cup? Everyone always thinks that when I do like to drink, occasionally I like amaretto sours, but this is iced tea, sweet iced tea with that. Um, have I made homemade biscuits? Um, and yes, they it would be good with this butter. Yes, I do, but those little poppy ones, they sure do taste good too in a jiffy. Um, with that. Um, some people want to teach your cat how to do this. That would be kind of crazy um, with that. Um, some people are asking if I, I think that I, I rethink. I can't even speak now. I think I shut all the things out of my head. Um, no, it's fun. Um, I like it. Um, lots of people like the painting on the wall behind me. Um, yeah, that's just for the ambiance, the trailer park. Um, let's see. Um, rumpus room. Um, some people are going out the grill. Um, this would be great on grill corn on the cob. And, um, oh, my fly swatter. Everyone's saying something about that. That's a flip flop. Fly swatter. Someone very special gave that to me. Um, that's for all the the stink bugs. Stink bugs are all over the place here. The Asian stink bugs. And I'm not being racial. That's what they call them. The Asian stink bugs. And they're just crazy. I don't know. Um, let's see. Two more minutes. Wow. Making butter in a mason jar. Two cups of the actual um, whipping cream. And like I said, if you leave it out, it actually kind of mellows and tarts a little bit. Um, still shaking. Um, still almost ready here. And what's going to happen is, is you're going to have some buttermilk. And that's great for cooking. So you're going to save that. Almost down. Counting. Wow. One minute. We'll have butter. Well, we're hoping. We'll see. Sometimes it may need to go longer. And that's 
just not going to happen. I'll tell you that after shaking this for 20 minutes. Um, but this is live right here in my trailer park. Shake, shake, shake. There we go. And everyone's saying that they can't wait to see the butter. I can't wait. I can't wait to eat it after this. I'm famished after shaking this butter. Let's see. 30 seconds and we're going to test it out here. Almost done here. Got really great arm workouts today. Wow. Almost done here. Shaking it. And we're going to pour off the buttermilk. And hopefully we have something that looks like butter in there, to be honest with you. Um, because this shaking is out of control. And almost there, five seconds. And butter in five. Four, three, two, one. Wow. That was crazy with the shaking. And um, I think we had butter in here. I don't know about you, but um, we're going to see. We're going to take off the top here. And pop off the top. And pour off the extra cream here, the buttermilk. Almost there. And now we're going to put the lid back on. Because surprise, I didn't mean to tell you that you need to do it a little bit longer here once you pull off the, the actual buttermilk with that yet. Still shaking it. Almost done. Well, I don't know. It could go on forever. Who knows? Maybe it'll be the longest live show here up on YouTube. I'll be doing more live shows here on YouTube, so be sure to watch that yet. And, um... Um... They're coming up in, actually, the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And shaking it. All right. Let's take a look here. Now, down at the bottom is your butter. And... This actually could go in the actual um, refrigerator and it'll firm up real nice. And um, But it's just a great butter to try on crackers. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's give it a try here with some crackers. And get a little butter. And slather it onto the cracker just like that. Now, like I said, that buttermilk could be used for cooking, but let's give it a try. Wow. That's like the best butter that you've ever tasted. Um, it doesn't taste... I think I want to say it does taste clean, even though I don't know if that's the right word, but... It just tastes like, wow, just like the best butter that you could ever buy. Mmm. And it's got that nice buttery flavor. I don't know how it did that. All we did was add a little bit of salt in that. And, wow, that is really neat. And we've got the butter there. You could add the flavorings to it. Um, I would have added the seasoning to it while you were shaking it and... I'm going to try that again because that is just homemade butter on your couch. And you got to work out with it. So let's go ahead and add a little bit on the cracker there. Spread it out. And mmm, that is so good. And I got the buttermilk so I can cook with it with something with that. 
and some butter. Mmm. I probably use a bigger jar next time. Um, but that is really interesting that you can make butter right on your couch or chair. Wow. Well, I really hope that all y'all subscribe because I got some more cooking shows right around the corner and all sorts of things that I'm cooking. Um, you got to check that out. And follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And if you're a registered YouTube user, I'll be looking over the comments and responding to as many as I can um, in the room, the ones that I missed. Next time I'll be able to see it better. My monitor is just not working right here. Lots of technical issues in the trailer park here, but we'll get them under control. Um, but if you make it, um, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. And I'm on Google+. Plus. Add me there. And, of course, all the other places, especially Pinterest here like that. I don't know. That's crazy. Add me there. And um, just a really great project that you could do. Keeps the kids uh, busy and... It's just really amazing that you can make butter on your couch. Well, I thank you for taking your time for um, stopping by here in the trailer park and finding out what's going on. I know there's lots of choices out there, and I'm glad that you chose the trailer park. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the trailer park queen, and I love y'all. Go ahead and post on my Facebook page, Twitter, all that. I'll be answering comments well into the evening, so I'll see what y'all have to say. And all about making butter right here in the Trailer Park Rumpus Room. I love y'all. Bye-bye.